guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 3 of Otaku Elf. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Ma'am, is it an event for a game or is it like a collaboration for a cafe? Potato, honey, what? Wait, hold on. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait. So you're telling me. She pre-ordered a limited edition pudding. I mean, okay, I'm not mad at her, too. There's some crazy eyes ish that I pre-ordered and such. I mean, what's the most expensive thing that I've bought since? Well, I'm looking right at him. <laughs> Cause it's terrible. It's both of my consoles. Um, but I think the most expensive thing that I had, I had pre-ordered and such and got like several months later, it was a Danganronpa fanzine. And I, I bought like everything for it. Cause I was like, Oh my God, this is cute. Oh my God. And, and yeah, I, I think I spent like what, $60 for it, which was not that bad. Um, and then remember, we had the conversation on how much money I spend on my games, um, especially like Idol Master and D4 DJ. So, yeah, but I get her. But still, pre ordering, put in, babe. <laughs> now, it, okay. If somebody ends up finding some good behind pudding that is that good, bruh, then yeah, go ahead and pre order that ish. I mean, I ain't judging. I'm just like, what the fuck? What pudding? Look at the cheesecake. My weakness. Weakness. Just seeing that is making me hungry, so thank God I'm going to eat my dinner after this. Well, that's serval for you. Right, I know. Like, oh my God, this, like, swans. I have not heard of swans in forever because I felt like they... Ended here in Florida. Well, well, I mean, you miss it, but still, hooray! Pudding. She only got okay. Hold on, wait. Oh, sweet potato. Okay, sweet potato honey. All I saw was potato honey, and I was like, uh, ma'am. What are you hiding? <laughs> Aww. 
Oh, she surely does because she. I don't know how much she paid for these three puddings. Did did you not eat one yourself? Yeah. I mean, oh, that you're the one who bought them. Seriously, stop. You're making me even more hungrier and I can't take it. Well, we hope that by the time it didn't get there, it didn't melt. Want the jars? Plus, you can always use them for something else, too. Huh? Are you collecting glasses, too? You are. Yeah, that is a pretty color. True. I mean, honestly, seeing people make glassware is like freaking art in itself. And this is why you should have bought extra? No, I have a feeling y'all gonna eat it. Y'all are gonna eat it.
Oh my god. Oh my god! Something salty sounds good. Chip what? Potato chips? Ah. Out of his nose, like, once again, limited. Gotta get that. Gotta have it. Oh, the cheesecake squares look good. I'm, I'm hungry. I'm even hungrier now. Hungry est. I want food. <laughs> That's, that's also the sweet magical spell of Amazon. When you buy one, you'll win everything. Hell, majority of the stuff that I have is from fucking Amazon, because, you know. Oh, of course, because they eat everything. Not really hungry. I think that's interesting that they turn their lights off after a certain hour, but uh, unlike here, you know, we keep our, our freaking lights out, I mean, you no, know, on all night long until, you know, morning. I understand, but we got to get this done first, and then we can go home. Oh. I mean, she tore those, those extra coats and everything off like freaking on did in P5. Oh, my God. <laughs> Something stuck in my nose, oh my god! I mean, yeah, because you want to go home, no? Good. Pretty though. Well, we we kind of oh, 
Birds of a flock together. <laughs> Woo! Could not do that. Mm -mm. Imagine if you got lost. Can't really ask anybody for directions or anything. Bruh, I couldn't do it. I want to go home. Oh my god. <laughs> You sure? Oh, I'm sorry, baby. <laughs>
was she too excited about it? But I mean, hey, ramen. Really? That was cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Warren, my cute little heart. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I mean, first off, let's talk about the first half of this episode. Being in love with limited edition food items or limited edition anything in general. Because I think as, as people, as a society, when we see something that is limited edition, we all want to get it. it. It's worse because, okay, for an example... So, since I am a <laughs> Ayakamane in Genshin, um, there's one thing that a company that I really like that I got my earrings and majority of my jewelry from did a collab kind of with, like, Genshin characters and stuff. And so, they featured Ayaka, like, way before I finally became an Ayakamane. And I wanted it so freaking bad but they wanted about almost like 150 to 200 dollars for it and it was like another snow and helmet and belt to pay for this necklace so recently about like three four months ago i went on this site and somebody had it somebody was reselling it and such well unfortunately between last night and possibly even today someone bought it which sucks truly because i wanted the damn necklace myself because i love her so damn much and once again because we are very crazy because 50 out of 50 no one's gonna resell the item that's like the same thing with like anything else oh the akudama drive feel, it feels i'm kidding i'm just seeing that <laughs> what's she paying This is the other one, okay. I wonder how that's gonna go next week. <laughs> Yeah, I truly wonder how next week's gonna go. <laughs> but, I mean, in the end, like I said, someone bought it before me, and so it, it sucks. Especially when you are on a site, like the site that I buy everything, majority of, like, some of my stuff, like, the four figures I'm looking at right now, um, 50 out of 50, some people will also resell the items, and on multiple occasions, if they have, like, bulk of it, like, okay, for example, the Kome Kome, you can't see her because she's not in the background, um, plush that I got that represent Delicious Party Pretty Cure. Somebody had bulks, and I mean bulks of the plush, and so I really wanted it because I was like, I need something else to, like, kind of <laughs> commemorate Delicious Party besides, um, 
Amane's like heart locket transformation brooch and stuff, right? So I got that, and then I was like, I want Kome Kome. And so I, somebody was selling it for like 30 or 40 bucks. And so I lowered, I, I offered the price. I was like, I'm not paying that. I'll pay this much. Somebody bought it off of me right as I was about to get my answer. And I was like, it's okay. It happens. And the next thing you know, they had another one in stock and I instantly bought it. And I was like, I want this much for this much. And then your girl got it. So yes, I'm always happy when I get things that are like kind of limited edition, especially like for Pretty Care in a Nutshell, because 50 out of 50, you don't know when those items are going to be resold and such or whenever they're going to come back. I mean, yeah, we're in the 20th anniversary for the series. And so fingers crossed, like older things like <clears throat> the princess perfume from Go Princess Pretty Care makes a re-release. Please and thank you, because I really want that thing so bad. It's so beautiful. Yeah, you know, once again, go watch Pretty Care. But, okay, also them walking around in the middle of the night, because it is their tradition, and, you know, when someone turns 16, they have to do it. I thought that was really sweet that she ended up eating the same ramen as her mom. Like, oh, my God, like, just, the fact is that, you know, Elda knows, like, everything about Koito's family. It's just so freaking sweet because she's been there for generations and generations and generations and even after you know Koito is older and maybe it's like her sister her little sister's turn it'll probably be the same thing and I think that'll be really heartwarming and sweet I mean uh, this whole episode in general was very heartwarming and sweet even though yes those two ate all the special limited edition foods and then they weren't able to eat anything for dinner like yes I get that you know when you want something that you can nudge nudge you want to eat it right then and there and such like do not get me started on when it's like okay March like the whole month of March like you know how McDonald's has like the um the shamrock milkshake I want one so bad and throughout the month of March I didn't get one and I cried I was, well I didn't cry but I was just like uh. <laughs> but when when the holidays come around I am always there for freaking holiday pie or like anything else or I am one of those, I'm, well, I am not those types of girls when it is Starbucks time and it's holiday edition stuff or it's summertime for Starbucks or like any type of season, instantly, every single freaking day to go get like a pumpkin spice latte or anything. Yes, I like me some pumpkin. I am basic, you know, ish. I, I do like it. It is good. But I will not go to Starbucks every single freaking day just to go get a pumpkin spice latte. Now, occasionally now, like, if I'm like, I want to treat myself to some Starbucks or, like, anything else, then yes, I will. I have no problem doing that. Because, like, yes, if I want me a white mocha frappuccino, yes, like, oh, I crave that ish. It could be 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm like, yes, I got off of work. I had the worst day freaking ever dealing with BS customers. But yes, this freaking white mocha frappuccino, this makes me happy. This makes me whole. <laughs> I can't. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode three of Otaku Elf. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. Of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode four. Bye, guys.